Yeah, so I'm just uh, doing a bit of tattoo work on a, a young graffiti artist from uh, Sunshine Coast. Yo. <laughs> we got a name in the picture. What is that? So, um, bro, um, how long have you been writing for, man? Well, I started back in 2009. I know it's not really that long ago, but that's when I started. So I started turning my doodles into pieces and finding ways to get paint. <laughs> I pretty much started on my own, and then there was a couple of guys in my high school that were like two years older than me that were painting, and they skated as well. And so you're into skateboarding as well? Yeah, bro. I skated most of my life, eh? Hey? And that's pretty much like the roots of getting into graffiti for me so what was the attraction for you know, like say uh, you know what you what year did you get started and why was the attraction for graffiti for you in this time of your life I just used to love seeing all the different styles getting around and I just wanted to be one of those be a part of that you know and just see what sort of style I could come up with myself But then again, like, I never really had, like, a mentor or anything. Like, a lot of people get into graph and they, like, know someone and they sort of take them under their wing. It was just, like, me and another mate and we just sort of, like, bounced off each other. We didn't know anyone in the mix. We just we just did what we love, eh? And uh, what do you think there's sort of the whole thing about the not knowing and the, 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 the curiosity about it, that sort of made it part of the attraction or in the, the underground sort of thing about it or I mean this is what what year did you say it was? What's that sorry? What year did you say you got into it? Uh, 2009. So by this stage the internet was pretty well. Yeah. And there was like movies like River City and Interrail coming out which were really attractive to me and Route 666. That's usually, that was about the time when a lot of the well, there was a lot of graph videos in the early 2000s, but then it sort of stopped for a little while. Then um, after 2005 onwards, there was more graph videos coming out, and then I was sort of open to them, which, yeah, led to other things. The so Sunshine Coast, what's the graffiti culture like in the Sunshine Coast? Yeah. Um, I think it needs to pick up a little bit more, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, you know, Gold Coast got their own sort of style in Brisbane and then Sydney and stuff like that. But, I don't know, the Sunshine Coast, to me, seems like they've only got, like, just temporary taggers, you know? It sounds pretty dead. I mean, I've done the Sunshine Coast for some years as well, and it's just, uh, And yeah. seeing your style, it looks like you're fucking pretty developed, you know what I mean? So you, you did actually get to a point where you pushed it a little bit more. Yeah. Um, why? Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, well, I can never paint the same piece twice, so I'm always fucking trying to do something different from the last piece. <clears throat> yeah, what are your influences, man? This is like fucking... Mostly, um, like, when I started actually getting into painting more, Slaw was my... Oh, yeah. It's always my inspiration. Yeah. yeah. Just his funky fills and letter styles and stuff. Okay. Yeah, his, his style really made me get into graffiti. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, I mean, I don't know, I've been watching what, that, what. How will I name you? Hey? How will I name you? First, say your name. How will I name you? Um. Call me Desire or Mark. <laughs> desire. Yeah. Like a Desire and like I've seen his work and he's, he's, he's pretty good, you know what I mean? And unless you've been, and I've lived on the sunny coast and um, I know what the culture's like there and I live here, live there and all the rest of went with it. The sunny coast is very low when it comes to much inspiration and shit like that, but this guy here, he's done some really nice pieces, and uh, I suppose I question 
what his incentive was and what he's getting out of it in this day and age for young people, you know what I mean, in the culture nowadays. So, so how, how, what is it like? I mean, I suppose you can't compare it to yesteryear, so you got to say how it is today. And we're just doing a bit of a tattoo work on here at the moment. We've got this bit of work on his leg here, which is coming along. I'm we're going to get to skip that. We're going to just spin you around a little bit. We've got that side there. We're going to get that over here. So, uh, bro, have you, been, uh, have you been charged? Have you done a legal graffiti or all that sort of thing? Yeah, well, in 2012, that's when I got, um, I got busted. Um... I got chased out of yard and then pain trains. Yeah, and oh, I didn't. Everyone else just sort of like scattered, and um, I lost something that had um, fingerprints on it, and and I was tracked, and my house got raided, and yeah, pretty much after that, I sort of like lost a lot of mates. In the culture because I don't know they thought I was gonna knock on them and stuff and which you didn't no I didn't I actually took the rap for them and I couldn't really couldn't really justify myself to them because you know they weren't talking to me and shit so that was a pretty shit time I guess and it made me sort of give up for a, about a year and then I got back into it just by myself and ever since then I've just been painting with whoever wants to cross paths and paint with me or I just do my own thing. <clears throat> I'm not fussed on posting and being fucking the most famous kind out there. I just love doing it, eh? Doing it for me. Yeah, man, to so your styles that I've seen you've been doing, what is uh, the influence from your style, bro? You said slow. Yeah. Well, you're pretty um, experimental and you, you push boundaries and do a good job. You, you, um, uh, yeah, some people can get it half done and half finished, but you seem to uh, execute a lot. So, uh, yeah, what um, so what what else you do? You paint many other riders in Brisbane and stuff like that. Um, no, not as much these days, eh? If anything, I'm actually painting with a lot of older people, older people, eh? <laughs> like, um, yeah, Naga from Seven Six Crew, Sydney. It up and Etch from um, 1035 crew. And what do you hope to get out of it, brother? What are you, what's the, uh, what's your, what's your, you know, talking to writers that people have never paint graffiti, what is your, uh, what is it you enjoy about? What's your kick? You know what I mean? What is it that makes you tick? You know what I mean? What's, Talk to someone that never done graffiti in your life, in their life, and like, what makes you do what you do, and what separates it from playing football or fucking? Do you know what I mean? Like, what what's the attraction that you get out of it? Bro? Um, I guess it's just a good way to express express myself. Um, yeah, like. At this point, I don't really feel like I know anything else to express myself because I got into graffiti at an age where, you know, my fucking head was still a bit of a sponge and that's all I was absorbing at the time. So, um, I guess what I want to get out of graffiti is I get out of it every time I paint. <laughs> and you, um, you know, you get your head together, you got to trade, you get your life, uh... You know, happening in different ways. You know, you jump like you get his head screwed on. You know, so uh, you use this very much as a as a as a passion or as a sport you do on the side, really, don't you? Really? Like, uh, well, not on the side, but it's your life. But yeah. you know, you can balance a life of um, graffiti with a life of routine. Yeah, and like. Um, which some people find what well, I did for years is like trying to differ, I found, differ the two, but I found graffiti got the better of me when I was painting like five times a week as opposed to like you know 
once, twice a fortnight. And you still manage to pay your bills, to manage to uh, yeah. be responsible, you still manage to um, do your trade and all sort of thing. And, um, yeah. So this is... Uh, I guess another thing that inspires me about it is the fact that we have to go out of our own way to actually either pay for the paint or rack it, depending on the sort of rider you are. And we actually have to go out and find the spots to paint, whether it's difficult or easy. That separates us a lot from your, just your typical artist. You know, it's it's just more it's more than just painting. You know, yeah. Just going out and just tagging is just like a form of passion as well because it's you're putting yourself at risk. Mm, yeah. And and it's at your own costs. We always get a bad rep, like we're just low lifes and stuff. But I've still been able to paint and hold a job. Yeah, so this is an incentive for a lot of young people out there that I think they're going to be one or the other. But the young bloke here he maintains, you know, he can um, he can do all, all the things and still enjoy his graffiti lifestyle, you know. So. Yeah. I think that's uh, something that's empowering, you know what I mean? Something that uh, is an incentive to others to be able to, uh, to think outside the box and to um, to go further, you know what I mean? Like, not only just, you know, yeah. stereotype and just sort of fucking dig your own hole and shit like that, brother. So, what crazy you around with, brother? Um, well, the first crew which I started, which I'm a bit ashamed of because I probably didn't get a, a lot of rep, was Kate, um, um, KSP, <laughs> Keep mm-hmm. Slinging Paint. <laughs> yeah. And then the first crew that I was properly in was CSW, City Street Riders, Come Smoke Weed. <laughs> We're just a bunch of stoners. Yeah. And the current crew I'm in now is, um, VBS Vagabonds. And Vagabonds, what's that mean? You told me what that mean. Um, a Vagabond is a Vagabond is pretty much um, like a bum who travels around. And I just think that sort of links up with graffiti because, you know, graffiti artists are people who travel around but get their name up. So it sort of relates to what a Vagabond is. And yeah, I love they that just follow their, follow their hearts. I love that name, it's really cool until you explain it to me, that's a really cool name. Yeah. And if I don't leave it there, anything you want to say and add to fucking, in a moment, if I can add to you, if I don't anything you want to say. Right? Um, all the up and coming riders out there, keep it up, doing well, much love to you all. Word. Thank you my brother, just a little bit of uh, insight from my young Young, young family. So, um, thanks for the time, brother. We just doing a bit of uh, tattoo work here, and, uh, uh, just leg here. So, yeah, she's coming up quite nice, you know. And the rest Beautiful. of the guys are with her. Just doing a bit of tweaking and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, there we go. That's it there. Fuck yeah. Fresh ink on the yeah, boy. Fresh ink, brother. It's gonna be alright. Gonna be alright. Yuck and dope. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, bro.